and you'll notice that there has been a change to the UI. So first we should talk about the first place that you're probably going to be going to when you open up the editor is you're going to notice this left toolbar right here. And this left toolbar contains all the various tools that can affect the canvas. That's this thing right here that I'm moving around. So there's that canvas there. At the top, you'll see that there is a hamburger menu and these a export button and these redo undo and this history here. This will never change. This will never change. This up here at the very top where it says select, this will change depending on what tool you have selected. Okay, so tools and then up here is static options that don't change and then these change up here with the editor. Over into the left or to the right side over here, you'll notice that things have changed. There are a couple significant things is there no longer is the grid and the filter tool on this left toolbar over here. It's now over on this side. You'll notice here that there says grid right here. And if you go to add new layer, there's going to be a filter layer. So if you're wondering where grid and filters went, they're no longer in the left toolbar. They're in the right toolbar where it says layers. Now, right now, you'll notice that there are two uh, panels here. There's an objects panel and then there's the layers panel. Now, when you place down an object on the canvas, it'll immediately show up right here where it says objects. And then, of course, it's going to show up in whatever object layer you have selected. If you only have one object layer, guess what? It's only going to show up in that object layer. OK, so kind of helpful to know that. You can also create a whole as many layers as you want. You might have like 12 object layers so that you can nicely stack. Uh, maybe you want to do the floors differently. You want to have another layer, object layer that's labeled walls and another object layer called roof and then furniture, interior decorating. So you'll have a lot more freedom to create these various object layers. So you can have as many as you want. You can rename them. So lots of cool things here. So again, left toolbar for the tools, a static menu that stays up here at the top, never changes. This one right here at the very top. That will always change depending on the tool selected. Okay, and then the last thing is the toolbar at the bottom here. And there have been some changes here. There is an a auto save right now. Right here, there is an option to turn off the auto save. You can click this right here where it says A and then there's a little arrow there. You'll be able to turn this off. Here you'll see enable auto save. And then you'll have disable auto save. So you can turn it on and off as you see fit. Okay, so I'm just going to disable it for now because I don't really need to have it on. I want to see how many changes I have. I don't want to accidentally save anything. So I'm just going to disable the auto save for now. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now auto save is off. 